Hi there! Well, today we are going to do something really awesome. You know how people say that you can become anything you want to? Well, I decided to become a tissue. Hi there! We've managed to achieve this effect, as you could have seen, with only our camera, tripod and some good cutting techniques that we're gonna show right now. We are gonna use the Mitch Resolve version 16 for this tutorial, but if you have any other software, your preferred software, you can use that. This is achievable in any other NLE. So first you have an empty screen, then your actor comes in like we did he pulls the curtains and decides to come in then you have some object that's falling down or some kind of moving object you then take second take is where you have that same object falling on the ground and then you have while the take is still going so you're not finished with the take while the take is still going you lift the camera back to the same height as the first take and there you have it he goes down to lift the box of tissues and boom, he decides to drop them. But because everything was so fast, you couldn't see where the cut was happening. If I go frame by frame, everything will be a lot clearer. You see, he drops the box of tissues and once it starts falling down, once the motion blur happens, it cuts to the same thing but just in another take of the same box falling down so it's the same it's two motion blurs and it's a cut in between there is no cuts because this here is only a camera movement it's pan up and over here we have again it's the first take now how did we manage to do first take looking like it's a part of the second take everything looks like it's a perfect loop we decided to do the blur dissolve the dissolve blur now what this blur does if we click on it we can see here we have no horizontal strength because we want this to be exactly the same as the pen happening from the previous take let's see before and after without this can you see where the cut happens and now let's see with the blur dissolve how it's managed to mask the cut so the cut is actually hidden because of the motion blur. Not only that you can use blur dissolve to enhance the realisticness of this effect, but you can also use something like we did. We used the transform. Now the trick here is to have everything in the first frame a little bit more zoomed in, repositioned, and then at the second keyframe, we have everything back to its original position and now this frame for a couple of first frames it actually moves so it tricks the eyes thinking that this second take looks like it's part of this take because of these exact things what this technique is called and if you want to check it out a little bit more further in details it's called cutting on action cutting on motion or as some people also like to call it it's called match cut so my tip for you at the end of this tutorial would be to just be creative. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tutorials such as this one, support us by subscribing. Until next time and the next video, goodbye.